Ooh, it's awfully dark in here. It wasn't my turn to pay the electric bill, was it? Let's play a game. You have to try and find me. <laughs> oh, hi there. Cricket's the name. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. Have you ever heard of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Peter Pan, Dumbo, or Alice in Wonderland? They're all in this book. Would you like me to read you a story? Uh, <clears throat> I kind of need some help. <clears throat> On a dark and rainy night a long, long time ago, in a kingdom far, far away, in a quaint little cottage, deep within a beautiful enchanted forest, there lived a... <sighs> oh, uh, <laughs> pardon me. It's just that I've been reading these stories for so many years. Say, I have an idea. I'll pick out each of the happy ending pages, then you can guess which story to put them back into. <laughs> sort of like a game. Go on, start. Pick an ending. In the happy ending to Peter Pan, Captain Hook is chased off by TikTok the Crocodile. Peter lives on as feisty as ever, and he never, ever has to grow up. In this happy ending, Alice travels to Wonderland, but makes it back home and without losing her head. In the happy ending to Dumbo, Dumbo the Flying Elephant is finally reunited with his mother, Mrs. Jumbo. Ah, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now there's a happy ending for you. Snow White and the Prince live happily ever after. better put this one on the shelf. At least until someone can shed a little light on this situation. Well, as I live and breathe, the Blue Fairy. Sir Jiminy, you are an official conscience entrusted with the duty of helping others choose between right and wrong. Did you do something wrong tonight? No! 
Well, I mean, I did tear out these pages, but I was just trying to... I, I mean, it's, it's just a book. Jiminy, once a story is read, it becomes alive in the imagination of the person who heard the story. By removing the happy endings, the heroes were left in peril and the villains put in control. Huh. Some conscience I turned out to be. My friend and I will put the pages back. No, no. The villains have already started to change the stories. You are going to have to travel into the stories to fix them. We can do that, my lady. Uh, I hope. Hello there. Oh. Hello. I'm out, and you're out too. No, I'm not. My name is In. How could you forget that? I live right next oh, door to you. Don't start. I meant our new guests here are out, and you probably want to go in. Inside the stories, that is. Now, why would you want to do that? Haven't you heard all of the villains have taken over? Well, perhaps our guests can help. What do you mean? Help the villains? No, no. Helping the villains would be wrong. Our guests must do what's right and help the storybook heroes. Oh, yeah. But before we let you enter, we must make sure that you know what the heroes look like. Okay, let's all look for Pinocchio. When you find him, point to where he is. Remember, we're looking for Pinocchio. Excellent! There's Pinocchio. Now for something a bit more difficult. Let's find TikTok from the story of Peter Pan. There he is. Hey, TikTok, you're late on the rent again. Now let's look for Peter. Here's Peter Pan now. Hi, Pete. Now it's time to search for Jiminy Cricket. Hey, there's Jiminy. I say, that was like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Actually, it was more like trying to find a carved cricket on a wood door, if you want to be precise. Yes. Well, next we have to find Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Hello, Alice! Now we must search for another fair maiden by the name of Snow White. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? There she is. It's Snow White. Now it's time for you to find Dopey. We have to keep looking for Do That's Dopey. There you go again, making fun of our talented guest. Now it's time to find little Tinkerbell. There you are, Tinkerbell. You're the light of my life. Now, here's a tricky one. You have to try to find the Cheshire Cat. There's the Cheshire Cat. Now we have to look for Grumpy from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. There's Grumpy. Ooh, he doesn't look happy. You just need to find a few more of our friends, and then you'll be ready to enter the stories. Let's look for Sleepy. No sleeping on the job here. We've got to find Sleepy. There's Sleepy. Well, what do you know? He's sleeping. There's a big surprise. Now we have to find the White Rabbit, because he's late for a very important date. There's the White Rabbit. Good. Now let's look for Dumbo. There's Dumbo. Now you have to find Doc. Hey, what's up, Doc? Try to remember who we work for. Our guest has just proven that they know what all of the storybook heroes look like, and they're ready to enter. We'll swing open and let you go in. But I don't want to go. I meant them. Ooh, well, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the door today. Come on, this is going to be some adventure. Whoa! These things sure look familiar. Hey, they're all from the different stories. Pick one. Well, he 
he's a baby elephant that lives in the circus, and his ears are so big that everyone teases him. Then one day he realizes that his big ears are what makes him special. He can use them to fly. Honest. That's why they call him Dumbo the Flying Elf. Villains and villainesses, please give a nasty cold welcome to Dumbo the Flying Elephant. I certainly don't remember the circus kid looking this way, but I guess that's what happens when a bunch of clowns take over. Say, Mrs. Jumbo, why the long trunk? Because tonight the audience is filled with villains who just laugh at the most dreadful things. And worst of all, Dumbo can't fly anymore. But the clowns keep forcing him to do his high dive act just so they can keep the audience entertained. Don't worry, Mrs. Jumbo. My friend here is a pretty talented character. We'll find a way to save Dumbo. We just need you to give us a lift. Start by making the clown with the paddle hit the other clown instead of Dumbo. Hey, that looks like a good angle for the cannon. Too soon for monkey. Well, we must be doing something right. Dumbo can fly again. Let's get back to the storybook and make sure he finds his mother. Sweet. There's nothing stronger than the bond between a mother and her child, especially if they're both elephants. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs has one of my favorite happy endings. But I have a feeling things may have changed since the last time I read it. this thorny situation? Hmm, not bad. Hmm, not bad. That's the stuff. That branch won't move because it's being held down by another one. That's the right branch. Keep, that's it. Whoop, mm, not bad. That's mm, not bad. That's it. Mm, not bad. Woo that's it. That's the stuff. That's it. Now you just have to move these left. That's it. Just one more branch, and I'm a. That's it. Move that. 
Hey, you did it! You not only freed me, but you cleared a path to that big... Big Apple? Hmm. Guess the evil queen's been doing some redecorating. wanted to visit the Big Apple. I just imagined it being under better circumstances. Come, my dearie. Just take a bite of this apple. One bite. And then I'll release your seven little friends from my dungeon. Quick! We have to save Snow White before it's too late. Oh no, it looks like we're too late. Ah, poor Snow White. In my version of the story, there is no prince to save you. And soon, the seven dwarves will be joining you in eternal slumber. <laughs> Boy, talk about an unhappy ending. When the last grain of sand falls through this hourglass, my next poisoned apple will be ready. <laughs> Uh-oh, that doesn't give us much time before Old Witchy comes back again. Go on, open up the spell book. I'm sure you can find something in here to set things right. Here's something to create a blast of wind. Ah, to make a thunderbolt. The potion for sleeping death. As your official conscience, I'm warning you. Here we go. This is it. The potion to create someone's true love. Hey, let's take a closer look at those ingredients. Scream of Fright. Wow! Moonstar. Sting of Scorpion. When you're done putting in all of the ingredients that you want, spark up the fire under the cauldron. Great! 
Now we can use Blast of Wind. Dark of Night. Now Snow White and one of the Seven Dwarfs are in eternal slumber. Blast of Wind. When you're done putting in all of the ingredients that you want, spark up the fire under the cauldron. There you go! Now we can use Thunderbolt. Sting of Scorpion. Dark of Night. Cactus juice. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Done putting in all of the ingredients that you want. Wow! Sunstar. Blast of Wind. Blast of Wind. Thunderbolt. Putting in all of the ingredients that you want. That's the stuff. Would you look at that? Now the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs ends like it's supposed to. They all live happily ever after, all thanks to you. Hey, let's see what's next in the storybook. Say, that was pretty swell.
You actually saved one of the stories, but there's three more where that came from. Which one do you want to tackle next? Well, it looks like our next story is Alice in Wonderland. Alice has been on a lot of strange adventures, but she's always managed to keep her head. By order of the Queen, we have orders to be prepared to prepare to remove Alice's head. Boy, those darn villains always seem to know when to chime in, don't they? Oh, dear, no. If I go home without my head, my mother will be so very unhappy with me. Oh, no. This ending has really gone to pieces. has got to be around here someplace. Sorry we're a little late. I guess there's not much we can do for you. Oh, of course there is. You can find my body. We have it right here. Oh, good. Would you be so kind as to bring it to me? I'm somewhere in a beautiful maze of bushes. Please hurry. Well, come on, let's get hopping. Who knows how long it'll take to find our way. Your way? There's no way here but the Queen's way. If the Cricket and his friend move, off with the heads! Just follow my voice. It'll lead you right to me. If I'm going to lose my head over a girl, well, it might as well be Alice. Just follow Look around my voice. Until you can figure right out to. which entrance Alice's voice is coming from I'm the loudest. Here. I'm all alone, and even worse, I have no body. I suggest you hurry then. This way. This certainly is a curious garden. It certainly oh, is. Way. I'm late, I'm late for a very important thing. Please hurry. My nose is itching. Follow me. Don't forget about me. Good choice. Hey! Watch out! <laughs> Excuse the pun. Hey! Watch out! <laughs> Grab that thing before it hits us! Just keep following my voice. Until you can figure out which entrance Alice's voice is coming from the loudest. This way! I'm all alone, and even worse, I have no body. I suggest you hurry then. Just follow my voice. It'll lead you right to me. Good work. This path will help us get to Alice. Hey, watch out. <laughs> You've got to stop this one, quick. Hey, watch out. <laughs> Excuse the pun. This certainly is a curious garden. It certainly is. Don't forget about me. Please hurry. Look around. My nose is Until you can figure out which entrance Alice's voice is coming from the loudest. Now she's going fast. She's going backward. Forward. Backward. Forward. Backward. Forward. Just keep following my voice. This way. There you go. That's using your head, or at least your ears. 
You've got to stop this one, quick! You've got to stop this one, quick! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one! Stop that Cheshire Cat! If we follow the white rabbit, we'll alone. get out of here. Yep, Alice's voice was definitely the loudest from this direction. You've got to stop this one. Quick, grab that thing before it hits us. Grab that thing before it hits us. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one. Quick, hey! Watch out! <laughs> Excuse the pun. Itching. She's getting warm. Oh, no, she's way. getting colder. Oh, my colder. Oh, my colder. This certainly is a curious garden. Don't forget about me. Yep, Alice's voice was definitely the loudest from this direction. Hey, watch out. <laughs> Ow, clear away that smoke. Just keep following my voice. Until you can figure out which entrance Alice's Quickly, voice is Quickly, this way. From She's waiting for you. This way. I'm over here. I'm all alone. And even worse, I have no body. Yep, Alice's voice was definitely the loudest from this direction. You've got to stop this one. Quick. You've got to stop Hold. this one, quick! Hold. You've got to stop this one, quick! Hold. Clear away that smoke! Stop that Cheshire Cat! Just follow my voice. It'll lead you right to me. Out of the way, way. I'm late, I'm late! You. For a very important thing! Don't forget about me. If we follow the white rabbit, this certainly we'll get out is of here. a curious garden. If we follow garden. Alice's voice, we'll get ahead. It certainly <laughs> is. Excuse the pun. Please hurry. My nose is itching. Just keep following my voice. Yep, Alice's voice was definitely the loudest from this direction. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop Hold. this one, quick. Hold. You've got to stop this one. Quick, Hold. grab that thing before it hits us. Stop that Cheshire Cat! Why, there you are. I'm very surprised at you, though, running off like that. And just when I needed you for support. Guess that's why they call this place Wonderland. Come, come, there's no time to waste. We must find the white rabbit so he can lead us home. <laughs> Hurry, the guards are on their way. Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. Here you go, friend. You'll need this paintbrush. Come Close on, paintbrush. Oops! Uh, sorry, officer. If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. Oh, out of the way! I'm late, I'm late! Good work! You've got to stop this one. Quick, clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one. Quick, grab that thing before it hits us. 
Pay the Rose's life, you know, to distract the guards. Come, come, there's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. Good work. You've got to stop this one, quick. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one, quick. Grab that thing before it hits us. Hurry, paint that I rose tree. If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. Out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. For a Good choice. Oh, Paint the roses there. white, you know, to distract the guards. If we follow the white Out rabbit, the we'll I get out of here. Good work! Clear away that smoke! You've got to stop this one, quick! Grab that thing before it hits us. Hurry, Get paint that rose tree. You've got to stop this one, quick. Grab that thing before it hits us. I think we're about halfway home. Out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. Good choice. Grab that thing before it hits us. Clear away that smoke. Grab that thing before it hits us. Grab that thing before it hits us. roast white, you know, to distract the guards. If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. Out of the way, I'm late. I'm Good work. <laughs> Paint the roses I white. The you know to distract. If two more of those crazy thingamajigs hit us, we're done for. If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. Oh, out of the way, I'm late. I'm late. Good work! Clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one, quick! Paint the roses white, you know, to distract the guard. Uh-oh! You've got to stop this one, clear away that smoke! If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. Out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. Good work. Clear away that smoke. You've got to stop this one. You've got to stop this one, quick. Pay the roses white, you know, to distract the guards. Clear away that smoke. Grab that thing before it hits us. If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. For... Good choice. You've got to stop this one, quick. Clear away that smoke. You've got to stop this one, quick. Paint the roses white, you know, to distract the guards.
You've got to stop this one, quick! Grab that thing before it hits us! Now we're really close to getting home. Oh, out of the way! I'm late, I'm late! Good choice! You've got to stop this one, quick! Clear away that smoke! Clear Come on. Down there. Paint the roses. Grab that thing before it hits us! Clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us! Grab that thing before it hits us! It'll Grab that there. thing before it hits us! Grab that thing before it hits us! Clear away that smoke! You've got to stop this one, quick! You've got to stop this one, quick! Grab that thing before it hits us! Clear away that smoke! Come on, paint the rose! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one, quick! It was very nice of you to save me, and my story. Please do drop by again. Looks like Alice made it back home. I just love a happy ending. <laughs> two stories down and two to go. What's next? Smee, bring me Peter Pan at once. We're going to have a sword fight. But, Captain, Peter Pan always wins. Tonight will be different, Smee. Tonight will be different. Mm, sure sounds like something's rotten in Neverland. scarier than that big skull is the big guy it used to belong to. <laughs> so much for never growing up, eh, Peter? Peter, you bore me. What say you to this? We just call this a win for me, and you can settle in early this evening and retire. Forever! Retire? Never! Not while I can still hold this blade steady enough to run you through! This old codfish through the gizzard. What's this? We 
If you've got a taste for cold steel, then get up here, you scurvy swab! Pick up the sword. A friend of Peter's is no friend of mine. To block, look, just move your sword to where the shield is. That's it. That's it. That's it. Turn him around. Don't be afraid of that old bilge rat. That's it. Turn him around. There's an opening in the crow's nest. Try to set a hook in front of the opening, then jab at him from above to drive him out on the boom. That's it! One pirate jab first, block him, then jab the other pirate. Side the pirates are coming from. to run. Should you attack an unarmed foe? Things were finally turning in my favor, and then you had to show up. Be afraid of that old 
Let's get back to the book so you can see Hook get his. And uh, in the end. <laughs> Thanks for setting things right. And if you ever need to find me, I'm in the book. Wow, you did it. You actually fixed all of the stories. Now we just have to put these pages back in the book and we're done. Hey, who took all of the happy endings? Not me. I just took this one. I only took one page as well. Take cover. Cover? That's it. Grab the magic storybook. Watch out. There are villains from the other stories off to the sides. Pan and tilt the book. Hey, there's that mean old... Pan and tilt the book so you can aim the pies and bowling pins back where you want them to go. To hit the clouds at the top, keep the book angled up more! To face the other villains, pan all the way over and trick. Face the other villains, pat all the way over and click. The ringmaster looks worn out. Just a few more hits ought to do it. To hit the clouds at the bottom, keep the book angle down more. To hit the clouds at the top, keep the book angled up more! To hit the clouds at the bottom, keep the book angled down more! the other villains, pan all... Apples and evil magic back where you want them to go. <laughs> hey, 
There she goes! Uh oh! She hid inside. That's it! Just a few more hits, and that place will be an awful turnover. the front door of the big poison apple. one of all. Watch out! There are villains from the other... Pan and tilt the book, so you can aim the cannonballs back where you want it to go! Fire out the nets! To shake loose those hooligan pirates! To hit the bottom parts of the ship, keep the book and go down more! Fire at the nets! To shake loose those hooligan Fire at the nets to shake loose those hooligan pirates. Pan and tilt the book so you can aim the cannonballs back where you want them to go. Direct hit. Yow. To hit the bottom parts of the ship, keep the book angle down more. <sighs> Only problem is those darn nets seem to ricochet all of the cannonballs away from you. <laughs> That's it. See how that net flew off? Now you can get a clear shot at the mask. Good shot. Yow. Just one more turnbuckle to go. Just one more mask to go. That'll knock the wind out of her sails. <laughs> Hooks retreated to Skull Rock. Fire back! Right at him! back right at him. Fire back right at him. To face the other villains, come all the way over and trick. the 
the melon. Pat all the way over and click. Double draft! I hate happy endings. To face the other villains, pan all the way. Try to knock down as many of those card soldiers as you can. the book so you can aim the croquet ball back where you want him to go. Try to knock down as many of those card soldiers as you can. So you can aim the croquet ball back where you want him to go. Ha! Ah, uh, pan and tilt the book so you can aim the croquet ball back where you want him to go. To hit those playing card soldiers, keep the book angled down more. a statue made out of shrubbery.
Huh, looks like we put all of the happy endings back. And then some. Yes, that new story is the story of Villain's Night Out. It tells of a cricket who redeems himself and his newfound friend, who saves the heroes of the storybook and becomes the greatest storybook hero ever. Remember, you've saved all the heroes and their endings too. Now you can play in their worlds, many or few. Tonight, your imagination has grown, so I grant you a surprise for the toys that you own. Goodbye, my lady. <laughs> <laughs>